what why do you think uh, Voice took the shot? I mean, it's 17 years later that he, he comes out with this. I mean, 17 years is quite a long time to hold a, a fucking minor grudge like that. It is, and I've seen him a few times, and we did a song together and everything after that. I, I don't know. You know, I can't exactly tell you why he did it. Actually, somebody needs to get in touch with him and ask why he did it. Well, we'll be linking up with him in a couple of weeks. <laughs> okay, <definitely. laughs> So, uh, is is there a truth behind his statement that, that back in the day you guys said that he was too arrogant to make it? Um, well, I never said it. And if it was said, the only way he would know about it is because Eminem was with us. So, I guess, you know, maybe we had a discussion and M went back and said, yo, they think you arrogant or something. Back in the day, I did think he was arrogant and, and more boring than he is now, believe it or not. Do you think, because uh, you, you and M had a little bit of friction between you guys for a while, correct? Um, not, we didn't have friction. I had, you know, things that I, I had problems with, so I used to air it out and say it on records. But if you really go on record and you listen to Eminem, he never said nothing bad about me or the outsiders. All the way up to Fine Line, you know what I'm saying? Fine Line, he says he loves me. Yeah. Even after all that distance, so you know what I'm saying? It was just me being mad at him and throwing darts at him, that's all. Yeah. Do you think, uh, like, that's all That's all washed away now? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 think, um, I think he forgives me for it, but he ain't forget it. He ain't never reached out to me yet, man. So you know what I'm saying? He probably, I don't know, he's still upset about it or don't care about it. I don't know. No. Then, uh, it's back to Royce, though. Uh, y you and, uh, Young Z, you guys didn't link up for a little while on a track, so what was it that made you guys connect together for the, the, uh, funeral track? Uh, well, Royce, man, you know, me and Z worked really hard to, you know, try to get the outsiders up and running and trying to make it a successful act. And it is a successful, a successful, um, Rap act, it's just that, you know, we're not as large as some of the other rappers, but we got our fans, we got our people, we still do. And um, we connected because, you know, it seemed like Royce was trying to shit on our legacy, on our empire, and, you know, we worked way too hard to let anybody just, you know, anything they want about us, you know? Yeah, no doubt. So... Continuing on, uh, do you think it's gonna? Do you think it's gonna be ongoing, or or is is it his next move that you're waiting on? Um, is it ongoing? Well, uh, I can say it like this: until he clears it up with me, every now and then I probably have a random bar or two in my rap about how boring he is or something, you know, yeah. or. You know, I might make another full-fledged diss track. I don't know. It depends on how I feel, you know. This hip-hop thing all goes according to how I feel. Yeah, no doubt. That's what it's about. But, uh, so, uh, you, you hold, uh, MC Shannon very high regards? Yes, I do. So, speaking on the MC Shan and KRS recent, uh, revitalization, <laughs> I suppose... What's your uh -huh. opi what's your opinions on that? Oh man, my opinion is maybe uh, MC Shan should have just left it alone, man. Did you hear the kid, the new one? A new one just came out like yesterday or the day before from KLS. I did hear that, yes. Yo, man, he is just ripping Shan, so it makes me feel bad for Shan. You know, Shan, his legacy is gonna get tarnished now a little bit too. And yeah. all because of what he did and what he said. He should have just left well enough alone, man. Everybody was starting. You know, right now we've got this, um, 
respect the golden age of hip hop thing going on. Everybody is like, you know what I'm saying? Going back and, and listening to they, they favorite hip hop things, and it's, it's even starting to come on the radio again. So I don't know if Sharon should have picked this particular time to air out whatever he's been holding for years. I know he's seen KRS many times since and, and through the years. I don't know why he's going to wake up and think he could take KRS. KRS is probably the hardest opponent in all of hip hop. Especially to go I mean, at him with an might, unpolished. He might not be the heavyweight. He might not be the heavyweight champion of hip hop no more. But he's still a fucking contender, yo. He like the number one contender, and it's very hard to get around that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, especially coming at him with an unpolished uh, acapella against uh, KRS's polished up tracks. Um, two polished up tracks. He just back to back to like Drake and Nick. So, <laughs> 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 yo, man, I tell you one thing. Hip hop is still entertaining as fuck, man. It's still entertaining, man. Me, us, this and Mike, KRS, this and Shane. If you go through hip hop, it's other niggas dissing each other. And, and it's just good records still coming out. So, hip hop is still very entertaining to me. Actually, it's taking a step forward because for a little while I felt it was um, becoming a little mundane. Yeah, for sure. I think in the last year, there's definitely been more action than there has in the past between artists and that back to the competitive level. Word, word, definitely. Because for a few years, like, um, after 50, it was like a gap. Like, when Drake came, it was just good music coming out. It was good hip-hop coming out with Drake and Kanye, but it wasn't really, like, you know, no street-type stuff coming out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now I feel like, yeah, we're getting back to that. Yeah, definitely when uh, G-Unit was in their heyday, they, there was definitely a lot of beef. It was just unfortunate half yeah, of it was going on within it. Yeah, they were the shit out of it. Because 50 is, a, is like a clown. He like, he like puppy, man. They, <laughs> they're good at promotion and they're good at ridiculing people. Yeah, but, I mean, um, Game jumped on that huge, like too. like a little gap. Yeah. I mean, game game was big on that dissing too. It seemed like he was dissing everybody for a long time there. Mm-hmm. So, is it safe to say that you think the teacher KRS took it in the Bridge Wars thirty years ago as well? <laughs> that's unfair, bro. Hell yeah, that's <laughs> guy suitable to write the guide to hip hop. <laughs> to tell you the truth, man, KRS is so much of a threat. I think yo Eminem would have a problem with KRS if they was battling. Uh, I definitely agree with you there. Because KRS can dig up a lot of things. He's very knowledgeable. Knowledge means supreme. He's really knowledgeable. He brings something out the left field and make the point and yo might win that battle. So against anybody, MC. And seeing, I think KRS is a very formidable opponent, if not the most formidable. Yeah, it's definitely pitting someone like KRS, who's in his element of the battle realm, and then MC Shane, who's a, who's more of a songwriter and uh, MC in that way. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Well, yes, I think uh, unless there's anything else you want to add, I think we're. Uh, we're pretty good. I, I mean, me and Maloney are going to catch up with you as well in the future and do a full-blown interview with uh, putting that promotion in for all your projects and whatnot. But if you want to let the, uh, people know what you got coming out soon, definitely hit them with it. Okay, excellent. Well, I'd like to say thank you for everybody, all the fans, all the hip-hop heads out there, man. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you, Jack, and, and Maloney. I'd like to shout out God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the angels. God bless them and thank, thank them for holding me down. I want to shout out my brother Jen, Young Z, Rod Digger, my partner D.U. from the Outsiders, my homegirl Jody, and uh, everybody.
everybody else that's been helping me. I'm going out to Utah on Friday to do a show out in Salt Lake City. And um, I'd like to tell everybody to keep an eye out for the new Outsiders album coming out. Me and Vigo doing a new Outsiders album. Dope. And I'd also like, I'd like them to uh, keep an eye out for the new Shady Core project I got coming out in August. Dope, dope. Doing the new Core LP. And um, I also got a solo record called Evolution coming out this year that I've been working really hard on it. So I'm going to try to get all three of those records out for my hip-hop head and just keep it moving, man. And I'd like to say, you know, thanks again, man. Thank you, Jack. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that shows interest, I really appreciate that, man. No doubt, man. Breaking Records got nothing but love for the homie Pace. Yeah. Right back at you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, on a on a final note, the uh, my homie Chayman wanted me to say what up for uh, to you, the homie from Netherlands, uh, right. Corne Maton. That's my homeboy. Yeah, yeah. I did a joint with Chayman already, and and I'm working on the second one. Um, we're supposed to do two, and I'm still working on the second one, and it'll be do it'll be done any minute. And uh, yeah, I want to shout him out too, man. I think Chayman, my man, uh, ill procedure. Uh, up in the UK, my homeboy uh, Jordan en- Jordan Edwards, Indigo, my homeboy Jordan Summers, out in Australia. Want to shout out my man Am Warner out in Cali. My man Moon Swings out in Chicago. My man um, uh, Sean Love out in California. Uh, my man William Motion Plus Stearns. We we just dropped a new Shady Core video yesterday. It's called Don't Stop. Dope. And yo, he's um, Motion Plus is rapping in it. He's killing it. I want to shout out my man Escapade, Lockham Shabazz, Milk Bone, the whole Shady Core, man. You know what I mean? And all my other friends and whoever's holding me down, I love y'all, man. And I ain't gonna let y'all down. I'm gonna keep entertaining y'all on the mic. Dope, dope. Hey, is that is that second track you're working with Chayman called Knowledge? I'm not sure what it's called. Um, Is it the solo track? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a blank beat. I don't know if it's solo, because he might put some people on it after I get Is it because me, like, me and you are going to be on a joint that, with a Chayman uh, beat? Because me and Chayman got a project coming out next year. Oh, okay. That's dope then. Yeah, maybe it'll be this one. So I'll make sure it's extra fresh for you. Dope, dope. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, extra punchlines and some extra wordplay in there, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I right, don't, man. I appreciate uh, uh, you taking the time to chat with me. No problem, man. Thank you for having me, man. Hell yeah. Anytime, Pace. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, thank you very much. And shout out Breaking Records Radio, man. I love y'all, man. Respect, brother. All right. Peace, y'all.